So, Emma, um, we're just here. She's just finished her 16 weeks and she's had some really good results in terms of what she's been able to change with her life. Do you remember what you were struggling with before we met, Emma? Um, yes, I do, I think. <laughs> so, um, I... Oh, geez. Uh, probably I was struggling with anxiety um and the motivation as well and energy levels um i had a lot of sore areas that i that i haven't really tended to or recovered from i think um and focus just setting goals and, and habits and trying to have the right mindset to actually think that i can achieve them um like yeah, I think I'm too much of a, I was like, I'm still am, but like I was focusing too much on other people and not like, not what I wanted to achieve for sure. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's huge. I mean, yeah, you definitely like were pointing your focus at too many different things and kind of just doing a myriad of things. Okay. As opposed to focusing in on a few things and doing them really, really well. Um, I know you were also like working a lot at the time and you were going through like a bit of like a career change and You've been able to, you can handle a chainsaw now. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's huge. Like, I think um, when I started with you, that was like when I started working with Surf Coast. Yeah. Um, so that was pretty, it was a bit of a scary transition, but, and I had like four jobs. Um, mm. So it's, it's kind of nice to know that I've dwindled it down to one, one and a half. <laughs> one and a half, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I feel a lot stronger um just in myself and like and being able to do i mean it it's still it's exhausting still every every day that i'm at surf coast but mm. i feel like every day i'm getting that little bit better um like yeah the the using the chainsaw and stuff like that like i cut down my first tree the other day and actually use the chainsaw for longer than like an hour which is huge um it's a long time the whole one <laughs> Oh my god! I cut like I do all this logwood. They like let me do it, and um, it took like three and a half hours, and I've never yeah. been so tired. They're like, you look like you've been to war. <laughs> yeah, legit, <laughs> legit. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah, and I think as well, just yeah. um, like in since I've started just reaching out to people, like the the Slackline group, um, mm. I wouldn't have started that if I hadn't have kind of been doing this course as well yeah um, so that's really good yeah so you just felt more confident with yourself to like take action on stuff as always saying yeah definitely yeah. or ask for help if they need help or you know let go of the ego yeah yeah definitely <laughs> that's it nice one and um so like what were some of the things that we implemented for you and worked on we implemented um yeah. what do you mean sorry so, so like, like my habits Work, we could go workouts we could go habits we could go nutrition that sort of thing like what were what were some of the things that we did just for you oh okay so um i think the um the workouts for my hips i think my hips have definitely improved also my um my wrists have been feeling heaps better mm -hmm. um my nutrition so i loved all of my plans i've yeah. got so many new foods that i like um, yeah. And I think just that understanding that I need to be able to eat more and and have those have those planned weekly meals really really helped me. Um, yeah. It felt like yeah. Does that make sense? It does. <laughs> yeah, because like if you're so busy, like how can you be expected to like make lunch and make dinner? Like you've got to do a bit of pre-planning, and then you go. I find you go into your week with a bit more sort of confidence because it's like. You're not having to worry about this other extra thing. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You're protecting your energy and your, your focus. It's cool. Love it. Cool. And then so obviously you spoke about your results with your hips and your wrists. Was there anything else that you were pumped about? Biceps? Noticing some biceps? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I have actually noticed that, like, yeah, just in general, my arms and, oh, my stomach's getting way better and I'm getting slightly a little bit more of a bump, which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like that. We like that. <laughs> um, like, physically, I think I've noticed a lot of changes 
just in terms of um, like little things like my arms and like my posture as well. Yeah. Um, and just being more aware, like when, um, when I do feel really anxious or when like my breathing and stuff like that, I think that's been a massive change for me is mm. pa- be- paying more attention to it. I still feel like I'm not there yet, but I'm heaps more aware that my heart rate's really, really like high right now and I need to maybe control that or do something to, to help with that. Mm. Um, and I think my biggest thing was like, if, I, if I'm if i sore and tired and tight, um, it really affects the day or what I'm doing or my workout. Um, and I, I, I have these high expectations of what I can achieve, but if my body's not there, it's not going to happen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you just sound way more aware of like the relationship between like going into the gym feeling good versus going into the gym sore and tired. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The same with work. For sure, yeah. Because like if you go to the gym sore and tired like three times in a row, then you start to develop this association that like it's not making you feel good and then that can be damaging. So like I think you sound like you've got excellent like perspective where you're just able to like look in and know the situation. Mm. Oh, love it. And then so like what would you say to someone that's sitting on the fence about doing something about their health? Um, I would 100% say do it, do it, just do it. <laughs> um, like I think when I started, I was like, oh, I don't know if I should. And then like I spoke to you and I got super excited. I was like, yeah, let's do it. Like I was excited to think about where I'd be at at this time. Um, and I would highly recommend it. 100%. Thank you. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, you, you've put in the work, Emma. So like, you you know what I mean? Like the blueprint was there for you, but you've, you've put in the work and that you've done it daily and consistently and you've like, you've logged everything. You've been really good. Oh, I could do better, but yeah, thank you. <laughs> the past two weeks, you've done so well to that 14 weeks. It was like the final two weeks, like she deals whatever she has to deal with. That's fine. But like for the rest of it, man, you were like A grade student. Ah, <laughs> oh, cheers. Thank you. Yeah. No, like I, I really enjoyed it. Really did. Love it. Oh, 